going on guys and welcome back to another video today we are packed up with some more information about Peter Parker in this game we're gonna be talking about some of the main key things that were pointed out in that which is super super cool because one of the main things and just diving straight into this stuff I guess you could say is do not expect everything to be great for spider-man as a whole in terms of civilian reactions because it does say the outside perception of spider-man will also shift and change as you move through the game's story. Some people will think he's the best thing to ever happen to the city and will even stop him in the street to take a selfie or give him a high five. Other civilians and at a specific point in the story, he will be seen as a menace. Now, this is great on so many different reasons, right? Because remember how I always said in the past, well, at least if you've been watching the videos for a long time, kind of like having a different um, feel, I guess you could say, in terms of how people respond to you. And one thing I always really wanted was like multiple endings, even though now, like, kind of seeing how everything's going, that's not really gonna be, you know, existent, I guess you could say, but. The fact that, you know, how the story is going to go is genuinely going to affect you. And another thing that kind of popped up in my head is if there's going to be multiple choices at some stages, which can actually then result, like they just said, whoever civilians will stop you for a selfie or literally see you as a douchebag, more or less, or a menace, which is what they say. So that is super, super cool. If you guys would like to have a multiple like options sometimes throughout the story that then result, in how people react to you, let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think it will kind of ruin the gameplay or story experience? Or what do you think as a whole? Like, would you just rather a flat out, plain, straight story that is all flat out scripted, I guess you could say? Get in the comment section below and let me know. Now they did go on to actually talking about how he actually is as Peter Parker and then Spider-Man. So even though we kind of touched base with this a while back uh, when I think it was a gameplay, the first gameplay that came out from Game Informer, they said what they saw when the game opened. But the key thing is here, they said that Spider-Man and Peter Parker feel like separate people. As Spider-Man, he exudes confidence and speaks with conviction, but as Peter Parker, he stumbles with his words, and that's something we didn't want to lose even though he has more experience. So, that's another great thing, two different worlds, again, that is super, super interesting. At this stage, I completely forgot to mention another super key point, and that is that Peter Parker will also change clothing throughout the game so where they always want to say we want to have those different kind of worlds for the characters as a whole so they literally are separated customization on Peter Parker is definitely another path I can see this going down which is gonna be super super cool and then they did go into saying that he's on the verge of becoming an adult because at this stage I believe he's like 23 and he was like 15 since he got bit by the spider so obviously he's really really experienced but they said Obviously where he's dealing with a lot of things that people at that age are dealing with, such as student loans, trying to start a career for example, struggling with money and etc etc, there's basically a starting point in his life which is the struggle as a whole. So the Spider-Man side of his life is going super well, but in the opening moments of the game, right before he leaves out the window to be Spider-Man, a letter slides under his door into his apartment warning off eviction if he doesn't pay his rent soon. So it's great being a superhero but it's also great to be a superhero and probably get paid for it right and going on to what I was saying way back again about photo modes I said it in the last video and selfies etc etc maybe being able to sell these pictures in the game for some sort of in-game currency which as you know Caboose did say back when we made the video together Spidey Bugs it could be super super cool and obviously in a situation like this will result in you know a a better situation and they pretty much then went on to discussing how where Kingpin basically was sent to jail Peter pretty much feels that everything is gonna be okay now even if he feels he can control like the small crimes the big situations are kind of all locked down I guess you could say but he realizes that it's never gonna really happen and things are just gonna get a whole lot more tough than they were to begin with so all of these little details small details as as Insomniac Games and as Game Informer do say, behind the mask, it seems absolutely super, super interesting. I really would like to see 
footage of playing as Peter Parker. They even mention, as we've heard before again, that they don't really want to make it like a cliche Spider-Man game where they go way into like the origin story, how it all began and pretty much like just following in a step that every other game has done. They wanted to just dive straight into like a new world because everyone of course knows the main story and that's where the backpack situation comes in which we have seen icons on the map for where essentially you get flashbacks and those flashbacks represent everything that has now led to where Peter Parker is at that very moment of his life. So what do you guys think on that? Do you think we're going to get some E3 gameplay of Peter Parker as well? Or do you think they're just going to save that literally until the game is released because I guess it's such a big thing that everyone wants to see as a whole and it kind of is like a cliffhanger. Get in the comment section below, let me know what you think, but that's going to wrap up the video here. Subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already. And on the topic of E3, I did do my predictions, so the video for that is in the description below. But have yourselves an awesome day, and until the next one, adios amigos.